Hi everyone, it's Alex Fournier for Alex Fournier Art and Artistic Purposes. This episode is brought to you by Irrelevance, new fragrance from Rickle T. Ellsworth. Cherish Irrelevance. All right, let's get started. Today I want to show you some of the things I do when I'm looking at drapery and cloth and fabric and folds with charcoal on newsprint. Based on the technique of how I hold the charcoal, it lends itself uh, really well to fabric and folds and shadows in cloth. All right, so let's get started. All right, so on this reference, just some very baggy, uh, baggy pants, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of get these, these big shapes, kind of the outer shape, okay? And in this case, I'm doing more, more gestural. I'm not trying to get this perfect. I'm trying to get the feeling of it. And you do wanna, even though these are super baggy, you do wanna kind of imply where the anatomy is underneath, even though, even though it's super baggy, but you do wanna try to see can you communicate that there is a knee somewhere in here, right? Okay, so a lot of times I'm gonna, I'm basically moving up with the charcoal and then I'm expanding the stroke on the bottom, right? So go up, but then I, I uh, come down and kind of sweep, okay? because you've got these these big folds as they as they converge it gets darker but the big folds get really loose here okay and the way you communicate there's a fold coming out is there has to be kind of this underneath over the top and back under again okay so I also think geometrically we got these kind of triangle triangle shapes here. Okay, this is kind of where the crotch is. And, and I'm kind of doing just like with figure drawing where you're doing shadow shapes. That's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm trying to find where is the, the core shadow, where is the bounce, right? Core shadow bounce. And you do want to have a lot of times you do want to make sure that you are giving a boundary where the shadow is so that there can can be what you know basically it's folding over itself right and so you need to make a boundary you don't want to just bloop, kind of blur it in um all right so let's look at this we've got an implied pocket over there we can have couple folds here okay let's say that's where the knee is and in this case I got to go a little deeper because based on the reference one of these legs is higher than the other Okay, and when I'm implying that this volume is underneath this volume, I try to move from the line across. Okay, and what do we got here? Okay, like I said, you're doing boundaries. Okay, let's just get these, these feet implied under here. Okay. All right, so we got some baggy pants, OK? 
Okay. And let's just pretend it, it will do something up here. Kind of a tucked in shirt. Okay. All right, so that's one. Baggy pants. Okay. Let's do another one. Okay, and a lot of times you're going to have to think of uh, the anatomy that's underneath the clothing, especially uh, if it's flowing or, or hanging off. But even if it's really baggy, you need to make sure that your anatomy is like a believable proportion, right? Okay, so I'm, I just drew some anatomy under here and let's just the boots. I'm gonna run another room at the bottom here. Notice how I do a lot of geometric angles uh, with with the charcoal. Rather than drawing lines, I'm really using the me like using my technique as the method of how I build it out. Okay, so I, I try to take advantage of the technique I'm using. Okay. And with any of this, yeah, when you're talking about anatomy and how this rounds out on a torso you got to make sure that you are rounding out those forms and so that it does feel like it's three-dimensional right all right so we've got this one's coming down we've got some interesting pants i might want to wear those maybe just on a Saturday when nobody sees me. Unless I'm in Newsies or something. Okay, let's do this pants. All right, so you see how I imply this fabric is on top of this fabric. Okay, see how I, I draw the boundary of the shadow shape. All right, the other thing I want to do is make sure, which I've talked about before, is play off the turning edge here. If I want to make these pants feel a little bit more three-dimensional, I can add this little highlight right here. And I don't want it to be always the same way, but I want to be able to show this highlight, this edge over here. Okay, and then this part here has a big billowy part. And so I'm going to try I try to make the core part, so the, the turning part, darker than the other part and have it kind of fade into, kind of fade away, so to speak. Okay, and then let's apply this, these shadows kind of under here. Okay, and I don't have a lot of room for the for the kind of leather boots, but with leather, the fun thing is you do kind of make these triangular patterns. And there's a lot of reflective stuff on there. 
All right, looking pretty good. Okay, and you can go back in and emphasize if you want certain bits to try to to try to imp try to show you know a part that kind of comes in. Okay. The other thing you can do is you could come back in and 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 add some some highlights here and there or pull back out something if you if you didn't quite get it. Okay, and in this case, we're gonna see let's pretend this is a belly button here. Okay, and because of the the angle of the camera, this is why I'm kind of going kind of at an angle here. Let's give them some a little bit of a six pack. Okay. All right, here's a good reference. So now we're gonna do kind of a ninja, ninja slash emo um, teenager here. So we've, we've got, I won't have as much room for this one, but we've got this kind of angle here. So we've got this, the fabric is is, is uh, turning, right? Here's like where the crotch would be. Okay, we've got, I'm not gonna worry about the hand in this case, but you know, we've got these big pockets. Okay, You're bulging over here. And see how I, I just basically move the, the charcoal almost like the, uh, the angle of the folds, okay? Yeah, I just kind of move up there in the negative space. Okay, let's apply the, the other weird shirt he's got. Okay, and so, and in this case, you see the leg is like here, the knee is right here, and then this would be on this this is maybe too exaggerated okay and we're gonna go do his feet here okay and ran out of room of course which is always nice on the feet you don't have to figure it out just kidding all right so we got his foot there and we got let's just since we ran out of room his leg will we'll kind of cheat it back the other way. Okay, so you see these folds and I'm gonna kind of fill in the gaps here. A little shadow under here. Let's do shadow here. Let's imply the, the turning edge, make it look three-dimensional. Let's imply these this kind of um, wrap, ninja wrap, okay? And uh, we've got these pockets. Let's, let's add some of the buckles and stuff that we've got here. Okay, and a lot of times you're you're basically the shadow parts that you're drawing, you're really drawing shadow shapes to imply where fabric is heavy or big or bunched. Okay, and so it's really about it's almost like the you need to do a little bit in the right way to imply kind of where it is, but you don't want to overdo it, okay? So 
you really do have to think about uh, it's like edge control, right? So the darkest parts you want them to be the that core shadow, something that's folding over and casting a hard shadow, but you don't want to do every detail, okay? Um, but you want to do enough, okay? So let's let's just say this pocket is popping out right here, okay? So I might darken this on that edge to show it's like pop bulging out. Um, let's do a shadow there, okay? You could even, you could even, what am I trying to say? You know, you could even pretend like there's a shadow from this shirt, right? Okay, so that's some, some fabric folds. We got Ninja Man here. All right, so that does it for part one of Fabrics, Folds, Cloth, Charcoal on Newsprint. All right, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check out my website, alexforniarart.com, and look out for other content. We'll see you next time.